Okay, so we I'm here with Travis Gafford on the Gafford. first Gafford. Gafford, week nine, first day of the LCS. We just came off a humiliating defeat against Vulcan. We got smashed. Probably the hardest, like, the most smashed any team has gotten smashed so far. How, what are your thoughts on this, Travis? I mean, I really wanted to do an interview with Cloud9 after they lost because the opportunities to do that these days are very few and far between. So I like your mic po uh, positioning because, uh, like, you want it lower? no, 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 this is good. You, it needs to be close. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people will do like this kind of thing, and then you oh, can't hear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good job. Yeah. yeah okay. Thank you. So, we're, I'm sitting down here with him just asking about uh, what he th feels about the game. Earlier, TSM played. How did you feel about that game? About the TSM game? Yes. I thought it was, uh, it was okay. It was, I mean, I expected TSM to do well, so. Okay, so would you say you're fans of TSM? Uh, I would say that I root for the good storylines. Okay, so you'd say you rooted for Vulcan against us because they beat us, so that makes a good storyline, and you like drama. Does that mean you're a girl, Travis? No, that does not mean that. I, uh, these conclusions you're drawing are not, not fair. Okay, here we go. All right, so you guys lost, and um, that rarely happens these days. Now, I want to I wanna point something out here, okay? Last week, I interviewed Doublelift. Doublelift said patch 3.10, or two weeks ago, I interviewed Doublelift. He said patch 3.10 is the fall of Cloud9 and the rise of CLG. And so far, CLG did very well in their game, and you guys got stomped. So, uh, is double lift correct? I feel like whatever I respond with is going to create drama, and drama is good. It makes good stories. Yeah. So, while I think 3.10 isn't my favorite patch for obvious reasons, it also does not mean it's a downfall of us. We can't, like, granted it helps their playstyle and it hurt our playstyle, but that doesn't mean we can't adapt our playstyle. So, he might be, like, a little bit right, and he's also probably, like, mostly wrong. We'll see how the week goes. Okay, so it's it's only been one game for each of you, so we can't save for sure yet. Is that what you're saying? Pretty much. But yeah. there's a possibility. There is a possibility. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, getting these storylines going. I'm yeah. excited about this. The drama. Yeah, exactly. The drama is being created. Yeah. No, it's good. I mean, because you guys, like, it's very boring whenever it's just like Cloud Nine wins everything. Don't you agree, Hi? Don't you just hate it when you keep winning everything? Uh, I think winning is a bad thing, I guess, because yeah. it, it doesn't create stories. Yeah. But then again, if you're to go like 26-2, that's a pretty good story. Yeah. Now, now our chances of going 26-2 aren't there. Yeah. So actually, my manager, Jack, he told us to go 0-5. <laughs> so that, that, yeah. It's dramatic. Okay. People like drama. We're, we're going to go 0-5 for drama. In case we go 0-5, it's for drama, not because we suck. Yeah. Just remember that. Well, if you say that, like you, you should clarify that you're joking, because then if you accidentally go 0-5 then the league system might actually be kind of annoyed with you. Oh, uh, yeah. We got to watch out for that thing called colluding nowadays, yeah. huh? Yes. So, yeah. That's a good thing to watch out for. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic about that, guys. We're going to try our best to win every game. Thank God. All right. So, you tried your best to win that last game, but you got stomped. So, what happened there? We face-checked level one, got stomped for that, and then it kind of snowballed from there. All right. So, can you give me, like, a play-by-play -play of what happened, like, that level one so that people can sort of get an idea from your perspective? Okay. So we went toward their buff. We ran through mid, saw one person sitting there, and had a feeling they were going to be in brush. But for some reason, we didn't check the brush with any of our things. We had driving flag. We had a lead spider. We had my Q. We didn't use any of that to check it. We face check it. All of us die. After that, we try to make plays, but it doesn't happen. We gank tap. doesn't work out. He dies in the jungle. I flash and place middle to not kill man cloud. And then it just... We, the game slowly snowballed in there. Actually, it wasn't a slow snowball. It was a pretty fast snowball. Yeah. So just like off of the level one, we were already like super behind. They all had items coming to the lane, and they're just incredibly stronger than us, and we had no summoners. So like past that, we had to make like some huge play to come back. Otherwise, we were just boned, and we tried to do that. It didn't work out. So then they just snowballed the game, and we kind of got screwed. It happens. Sucks to happen to us, but yeah. So, uh, going from that, do you like obviously you are in the lowest spirits I've ever seen you in. You're just crushed by that loss. Uh, no, I mean, is that going to affect you guys going forward, or you just sort of shrug it off like water off a duck's back? I mean, while it doesn't matter if we win or lose, I definitely want to win. No one likes losing, regardless of your first place is secured or not. In the case we lose the next four games or something, just everyone's going to like shit talk our team. And I'd rather not have that happen. So, we're not trying to lose our games. We're trying every. We're trying hard to win every game. But in that game, we kind of just got snowballed on. There's not much we can do about it with our team comp. It just kind of died and crumbled. So I kind of want to win just a little bit. So do you think that was like a, a flaw with the team comp is that it just doesn't do well after like a bad start? I mean, 
If you give any team that start, they should be able to just win the game off of that, regardless of team comps. It's just, if, with that big of a start advantage, a professional team at this level should be able to snowball the game. It's yeah. so like, you give us that advantage, we'll do the same thing. So, And they're a good team. Vulcan's a really good team. So they got that advantage and they snowballed it. Yeah. Sort of similar to what you're saying. I guess I heard this afterwards, but Scar turned to Alex Pettit and was like, restart? Because I guess that's it during yeah. scrims, that's how that tends to work. Yeah, so like all week we've been playing scrims. We die a lot at level one recently. We don't know why. We're trying new things, not working out. And whenever we die at level one or do something bad, we restart the game because like we just know the other team's good enough to end it at that point, and we just try to make a new game so that doesn't happen. Yeah. And it kind of happened here, so then we couldn't remake. We typed out in chat, remake, question mark, and they and right wouldn't let us. Oh, yeah. 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 How, how dare they? Uh, patch 3.10. Uh, is that is that why you guys are dying level one? Is it just the three point ten curse? Like it's not even a balance thing. It's just sort of like, like that's you've you've gotten the the double lift curse on you now, so you're just gonna start throwing early on. We've always died level one. Like first blood happens to us most of the time. Like lemon gets first blood almost all the time. Yeah, I know. But then you guys usually get dragon. Well, yeah, but in in that case, when three people from different lanes get first blood and jungler is just like ah, we ain't getting anything now, boys. So if Lemon usually is the sacrifice that you have to make to the, like, I don't know, Summoner's Rift gods to get Dragon, shouldn't you have, like, sacrificed, like, those three early on to get, like, the, the next three Dragons? We did sacrifice them early on, but the the, sum, the Summoner's Rift gods weren't with us today. They're, they're just kind of like, F you guys, you won too much, you get to lose now. Yeah. I think that's uh, sort of how I'm feeling right now. So I'm really excited about the Zero and Five from Cloud9 this week. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah. I'm having. I'm gonna have a good time when it goes zero five. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be just what you need right before regionals when it all matters. Yeah. Every team will underestimate that. And they'll be like, "Oh, Cloud Nine sucks now," and then I don't know where it was become gods. Hopefully. Yeah. Again. Okay. So this is like well, this is like in the movie whenever like right before the climactic moment, there's like all the stuff that builds up for the protagonist, and he has to face. You know, he has to climb out of that hole, and that's gonna be what happens here for you guys. Yeah, we're all about making a good story, like kind of how like Batman climbed out of that, that hole that he's in, you know, he climbed out or whatever. Spoilers. How's that a spoiler? Because it happens in the movie. Well, when, when the movie is like years old, it's not a spoiler anymore. I don't even think it's one It's one year old. Like, when did that come sure out? It's a year old. I'm pretty sure it's a year old, right? Yeah, it's at least a year old. <laughs> yeah. random, random video producers Five in the bucks. room, like, nod their head yes. Okay. I, wait. Five when? It, okay. Okay, hang on. No, no. Oh, no, I'm remembering this because I went with, to it with a Riot thing, and I did, went to that right before I went to Korea, which has already happened one year ago, so I'm not going to take that back because I just so figured I'm out. So I'm right, and Travis is wrong. No, we're both Can right. You were both right because I'm you agreeing with you. You out right now. I win five bucks to you. You owe me dinner later. Thanks, guys. You got my back. You know, it's very nice of me to hold the mic for you whenever you trash me like that. It's kind of yeah, I'll, I'll hold the mic then. All right. All right, so he's done holding the mic now. I'm going to hold the mic. Right. So can you can ask, ask me. You, yeah, you can ask me. All right, so you are down here for, like, Super Week. Is it is it a weird thing whenever you approach Super Week because you've got five games and still, like, the two or three is normal? Uh, Super Week is definitely different. You have to play a lot more games. You have to prepare more. And it's a lot more work. Sometimes you have to play the first game and then the last game of the day, and no one likes doing that. You have to sit at the studio for, like, hours and hours doing nothing. And if you lose the first game, you just get to sit there and be depressed. So th luckily, we don't have to play a game after this right away. We get to go back to our hotel to cry. So, To cry? Is that what you're going to do when you go back? Uh, I'm contemplating it. Okay. Well, so you guys are kind of in a different situation than Europe. Because in Europe, they finish their matches this week, and then they have to go straight to Gamescom to do their regionals. You guys have this extra week. Uh, do you enjoy that? Like, you can sort of plan out for PAX? Yeah, I definitely think the week uh, break that we get is useful. It gets us to prepare more for the patch. Because there's a lot of changes in this patch, and it just allows teams to increase their level of play. So you get to see better games at PAX, and that's what it's for. And I'm sure games come in uh, Europe is going to be like ridiculously like crazy regardless, because every team over there is like tied for first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Maybe eighth. I don't know. I don't keep track of it too much, but it's a good story over there, no matter what. And over here, it's just kind of like you just want good games at this point. Uh, so here we're gonna do this because otherwise you're just well I was gonna just adjust your hand oh, you can keep yeah because when you hold it like this the camera can't see me at all so if you do this well, you're what gonna if the camera what well, if the camera doesn't want to see you oh the camera wants to see me are you, are you sure about that um, yes I'm very sure so uh, yes 
so you guys have this different thing, obviously, with with preparing. You said, though, that it gives you more time to prepare for the patch. You've just had two weeks. So how's the, the patch 3.10 stuff been going for you guys in scrims? Like, has it been weird for you? Or, like, how how's that worked out over the past two weeks? It's definitely weird. I think Riot is rewarding teams that do dumber things, in a sense. Because, like, I think the objective game is good. But my opinion is obviously biased because that's what our team does. I don't think going for random ganks and, like, freezing lanes is good. But that's what they're promoting with this patch. And I don't necessarily agree with that, but uh, it, it's definitely an annoying patch to deal with. But as, as a team that plays what's OP in a current patch and like adjusts to what's the best in each patch, that's something that we have to deal with. We have to be able to adapt to every patch. So, so has the has that played out well for you over the past two weeks? Like, have you adapted, or are you guys actually struggling behind the scenes? Um, we're we're doing pretty good. I think our scrims aren't going as great as they used to be, obviously, but they're still definitely going in our favor. And we're definitely it's just as strong as we were before. It's just other teams gotten stronger as well. So I don't know. I just some games you lose, some games you win, and that's just how I see it. We can't win every game. We're we're eventually bound to lose games regardless of how good or bad the other team is. Yeah. So uh, for regionals, like sort of the way this this whole thing is going to play out is this week determines seeding for regionals. Are there any teams that you would like to play more than others? Like, are there any that you kind of are rooting for just because you want them to position in the right place for you? Uh, I feel like when interviewers ask this question, it's to call. Uh, it, 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 there's like no way for the uh, interviewee to say a team without like shit talking them basically. So instead, you, uh, what here, team? Here, here. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. What team would you like us to play, Travis? Uh, so I don't know what team I would like you guys to play. However, I will tell you the best way to answer this. I got this right. So if you okay, right now you probably have. Hey, hey, you probably have a team that you would rather play. So here's how you answer this without shit talking. You go, you know, uh, we think that all of our opponents are very difficult and that all the teams in the LCS can provide a very good challenge. However, our p style of play definitely counters other teams in certain ways, uh, you know, more effectively than others, you know, because it's all about, you know, sort of the counters and the styles of play. So for us, we think that the style of play that we see from TSM, for example, is probably like easier for us to deal with than maybe somebody like CLG. So right now, if I was to say, it would probably be close and it would be kind of hard. And again, all teams are uh, reasonable, good opponents. But I would probably say we would prefer to face TSM simply because our style of play does better against theirs. Okay, so you heard his answer here, boys. Travis would like us to play TSM because he feels our play counters TSM's play. So apparently Travis wants us to play TSM. So, great question, Travis. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. How are you looking towards Worlds? Uh, are, you, are you excited for Worlds? I'm excited for Worlds because I, I will take a lesson from this interview in which I will never give control of the microphone to the interviewee because I never know what they're going to do. It's, uh, it's so good. Yeah. I mean, giving the mic to the interviewer makes it a lot more interesting because now not only are you interviewing me, I'm interviewing you. And like with two interviews of one, it just makes a better interview, right? Yeah. Two, two heads are better than one is what they say. I don't know if that's what they all say. But I definitely feel as though maybe this interview isn't better because I've given you the the microphone which is what you're suggesting i mean I'm, I'm not keeping the microphone you can just take it back whenever you want i'm not like holding you down See? Yeah, do you have yeah. any shout outs plugs you want to make here at the end of this yeah sure thanks to uh all of our sponsors law class um astro uh cooler master hyper x i buy power uh Crunchyroll, and our new sponsor g fuel that's our new sponsor guys thank I'm you i'm actually really curious what's g fuel it's like an energy drink kind of thing like you pour it into water you mix it up and it's pretty good uh, for everyone, this is Travis uh, interviewing Hi, who just lost because he's on Cloud9 and they're losing this week. Uh, you can check out the rest of my coverage of the LCS uh, Week 9, all that kind of thing at GameSpot.com slash LCS.